Miss. And for today, gagawa tayo ng palitaw. But not the ordinary palitaw, gawa tayo ng dalawa. The ube, cheese palitaw, and then the classic palitaw. Tapos, gawin natin balls. For the ingredients, I have here the glutinous rice, flour, water, this is nyog, sesame seeds. If wala kayo nito, you can use desiccated coconut. The ube flavor, actually, mas maganda yung ube flavor kasi mas consistent yung lasa mo. Okay? So, pwede ka gumamit. May iba-iba yung ube flavoring eh. May liquid, tapos may powder. So, it's up to you kung anong meron kayo. You can buy this one, syempre, at Sweet House Baking Store. Tapos, cheese. For the glutinous rice flour, I'm using piotraco or malakit rice flour. Available din sa amin yan. This kakanin is one of my favorite. Tapos ito yung pinakauna kong nagawa. Kasi ito yung, for me ha, ito yung pinaka-easy. Tapos di kailangan ng oven, di kailangan ng steamer. But, oops, actually nagpainit na ako ng water. Okay? So kailangan nyo lang ng stove. Kailangan lang ng apoy. So in your bowl, Mix nyo lang si glutinous rice, flour, and water. Dahan-dahan yung paglagay ng water, ha? Kailangan yung consistency niya parang dough. Diba? If you know fondant, yan, kailangan ganyan siya. Not watery, but of course, di rin pwedeng too sticky. Yan, similar yung recipe niya. Actually, pinakamagandang gamitin, kamay. But, since i-divide ko pa to into two, para yung isa, classic, yung puting palitaw, then yung isa, violet, or ube palitaw, gagamitan ko muna ng spatula or the rubber scraper. For me, tama na yung consistency. Then, yung kalahate, lipat ko here. Ito yung magiging classic or the puting palitaw. Yan. Konti lang ang puti, okay? And then, for this, dagdagan natin ng ube flavor. Huwag masyado damihan yung um, ube flavor, ha? Kasi the moment lutuin nyo to, magda-dark pa to. And then, if you think it's too sticky, pwede ka mag-add ng water. If you think okay na, yan. Pwede na yan. Okay? This time, gamitan na natin ng kamay. If lahat ng recipe mo, gawin mong ube, dapat, pwede nyo na, or I mean, pwede nyo na i-mix yung ube flavor sa water. Para hindi ka mahirapan mag-mix. Okay? But since, divide natin siya into two, may puti tapos may ube, yan, ganito gawin mo. Okay na. Diba? Para ka lang naglalaro yan. See? Yan yung consistency na gusto ko. Parang Play-Doh. Then, yung ibang ingredients, tabi muna natin. So, after nyan, bilog-bilog na natin. Okay? So, yung style ko, ganito. Para at least, pare-pareho. Okay? Huwag masyado puno. Parang one half tables. Ayoko ng masyadong malaking balls. Para at least pagkain, isang lamunan lang. Huwag nyo muna ibilog kasi may lalagay tayo sa loob. So again, if you add the cheese sa loob, mas nagko-complement yung taste niya. Sweet and salty. So after nyan, yan, flatten natin konti. Okay, seal. Tapos, bilog-bilog natin. 
And perfect. Ayan, so tapos na yung ating ube palitaw. Tapos, nagpakulo na rin ako ng water. Okay? So, pwede na natin siya ilagay. Okay? Kaya palitaw yung pangalan niya. Malalaman mo kasi later if it's cooked already. Once, lilitaw na yan. Kaya mas maganda kung medyo um, malalim yung kalan mo. Yan muna. And then, let's proceed to the white. Yung classic palitaw. ba diba? Yung classic palitaw natin. Pag ayaw mo ng balls, yan, pwede ganyan. ba diba? Or yung medyo malaki. Tapos, ganun pa rin yung pagluto niya. Na, hintayin mo na lumitaw siya. But since naka-balls na to, balls na lang natin, guys. Para at least pare-pareho, ba diba? Yan. But syempre, wala nang filling. So around mga one recipe of this will give you... 30 balls. Depende kung gaano kalaki yung balls na gagawin niyo. Okay? So, sa akin is around 1 half tablespoon. Ayan. So, since lumitaw na yung balls, pwede nyo na kunin. It means cook na yan. Then, sunod natin yung puting palitaw. So, while waiting sa ating puting palitaw, i-mix na natin si sugar and si sesame seeds. Okay? Mix nyo na yan. Yung sesame seeds, it will give crunch later. And of course, yung asukal, magbibigay ng tamis sa palitaw. Okay? Huwag nyo i-mix ito ha, sinyog. Again, if wala kayo nito, desiccated coconut. palitaw balls. Yan. So, pinatulo ko na rin. Then, first, sugar and sesame seed. Pagkatapos, here. Tapos na. So, it's time to tikim. Ang sarap, guys. It's, again, of course, ang lasa is the classic palitaw. The Filipino palitaw. Malagkit na may crunch nung sesame. But, of course, tikman natin yung tinwist ko na recipe ng palitaw, the ube with cheese. Okay? Hanapin natin yung may pinakamalaking cheese. Oh my God! Mas masarap to. Um, for those uh, favorite nyo yung palitaw or paborito nyo yung palitaw na classic, try nyo yung my cheese. Kasi, yung saltiness ng cheese nagbe-blend sa tamis ng palitaw alone. Try nyo to. Pinakamadaling kakanin. Promise. There you go. Our classic and ube with cheese palitaw. And for the ingredients, guys, don't forget to visit 
Sweet House Baking Supplies. We have here in Cagayan de Oro, Palawan, and in Balingasag. Okay, again, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Enjoy baking!